Hello history fans, welcome back to Women's History Month. Now, you remember like old school Zoella and the beauty YouTubers and they would do like five quick hair stuff for going back to school and stuff like that. Well, I've wanted to do the historical version of that for a very long time. So let's start today. So this is Helpful History Presents some easy ancient Roman hairstyles. Might not be so easy as we get to the end. Originally, women in ancient Rome loved a simple hairstyle, like letting it fall behind you and putting a band around your head like that. Or just a simple plait fastened behind your head with a large pin. Sometimes ribbon or a similar material was used to wrap around your head for some extra decoration as well. I've sped up a lot of these clips because they were very long. The late Republic saw women wearing low buns, um, and you'll see in a second they also would have like a fringy poof thing at the front like this but I genuinely forgot how to do because that's like is it a 90s or a 2000s look anyway young girls wore simple buns either the top or bottom of their head as well and during the reign of Augustus a variety of different more elaborate hairstyles came into fashion for married women now what I'm doing here is an example of when the hairstyles grew even higher and more elaborate under the Flavian emperors now a lot of this is sped up because it was genuinely a 15 minute clip of me struggling to do this. <laughs> so we're zooming through it. The one you probably recognise from like art history and statues and sculptures is the Flavian Orbit, which is what I'm trying to recreate. It's just big high piles of curls on top of the front of your head and a bun made of braids at the back. But the style with the big plaited bun was also acceptable so that's what we're trying to do here. It's at this point I realised I needed more hair so we're putting some extensions in. Now if you want more detailed videos on hair history and like how to actually do it properly and things, Janet Stevens and Loipsi, Lui I'm sorry I don't know how to say it, have really great videos. Um, that's me just freaking out and then we're back to zooming up. <laughs> at this point I think it's kind of starting to look okay but I give up again in a second and start again. <laughs> Using rows of fake curls, women appeared taller at the front and elaborate curls became the norm and sometimes wreaths were used to decorate your hair as well. Wigs or hair pieces were common, not only to give the illusion of so much more hair, but also because it was easier to put a wig on or sew your hair into place rather than having to redo it every day. Because trust me, it took a while and I didn't even do it right. <laughs> Lots of hair was twisted into layers with ringlets falling to the sides and back, but most important for Roman women were braids or plaits that were incorporated into most hairstyles. And yeah, so I've piled some hair and now I'm adding the extensions. It doesn't look ideal. Like I said, head over to Loipsy if you want to see um, this hairstyle actually recreated well. This was awful. <laughs> there we go, that's that one sort of done. But if we just go to ancient Greece for a second though, Aphrodite's hairstyle, or the Aphrodite knot, is one commonly used in portraits or statues of ancient women. And it's really quite easy, you just knot your hair on top of your head twice, or I did it three times. And yeah, that's it. Well that's it from me today. I can't say I didn't struggle because this looks a mess and it is now completely falling apart. But I feel like it definitely looks Roman, so... We'll go with it. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I feel a bit like Tinkerbell. Anyway, um, I'll see you on Sunday, probably. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.